In today's video, we are going to be doing an epic, kid-friendly, and healthy meal prep. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica, and here on my channel, we focus on all things mom life. However, I am a holistic nutritionist and a nutritional practitioner, so everything we do here in this space does have a bit of a healthy twist. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, I would love it if you would open up the description box right down below and hit the big red subscribe button. That way you join our family and you don't miss a single video. I make a ton of videos just like this one when it comes to healthy homemaking, kid-friendly meals, nutrition and supplement ideas for you and your entire family. So for today's video, I am so excited to be going through this complete epic meal prep. To be honest with you, I made the list this morning and I think it might take me two days, but we'll see how much filming I can actually get done today. We're gonna to be making some veggie and protein stuff muffins and bars for you and your family. We're gonna be making a delicious, warming and comforting healthy dinner in the slow cooker. It is currently snowing here where I live in Michigan, so we're still definitely in the warm, cozy soup phase. We're gonna be cooking up some grains, prepping some fruits, some vegetables, making a protein and veggie packed dip that your children can enjoy. So I'm so happy that you're here and I can't wait to take you through these recipes in today's video We're gonna get started with cooking up some black wild rice I love black rice and you've probably seen this popping up everywhere lately It's become very popular in health food stores and at healthy restaurants because it is such a rich source of Antioxidants it has the same sort of antioxidants that you find in things like blueberries and blackberries It's incredible for heart health and it also helps improve digestion it prevents constipation because it is packed with fiber and it serves as a great function of insoluble fiber. It also surprisingly is a wonderful detoxifier because it helps remove harmful toxins from our liver. So in sum, I love this complex carbohydrate because it removes toxins, harmful substances from our body. It tastes delicious and earthy and it's such a great and easy grain to add into your diet. Now moving in to one of my family's absolute favorite meals, and that is a crock pot pot roast. My children love this recipe, my husband loves this recipe, and to be honest with you, so do I, because I can chop everything, sear the meat, and toss it in the crock pot overnight. So it makes it easy for me as well. So now I'm prepping all of our vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these into the crock pot with this organic grass-fed bone broth from Trader Joe's. We love this stuff. It has such a rich and delicious flavor, not to mention all the nutritional benefits of bone broth. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sear my meat and add that in as well. When it comes to vegetables and your kids, I want you to just try something new. I remember when Ronan was just over two and we gave him mushrooms for the first time and he absolutely loved them. And still to this day, mushrooms are one of his favorite vegetables. Kids will surprise you with the things that they will try, especially when there's no pressure. And putting mushrooms and all these veggies in a warming broth that's delicious with a beautiful grass-fed cut of meat, it adds so much flavor and you'll be surprised at the vegetables kids will try. And then from there, they've created a positive experience. Another fun hack whenever you're making soups or broths for your children, I love to add kelp. I add two teaspoons, which is a full serving of vitamin K, A, calcium, iron, and magnesium. And for us, the mamas out there, it's such a great source of these trace minerals that are so beneficial to our thyroid. make sure you check out the description box down below. I will include all of the recipes that I'm sharing with you guys in today's video. Now I've gone ahead and just pulled out some frozen turkey bacon to set out to thaw to cook a little bit later in the day. And then we're gonna move right along into some carrot lentil muffins. My children love this recipe. It's so easy to throw together. I like to make a big batch of it, freeze half of it, and keep the other half in the fridge. It's great for on-the-go breakfast, and it's especially great as a lunchbox snack.
know that the thought of adding lentils or beans can be intimidating when you're thinking of a sweet recipe, but I promise you that by the time you've added the carrots and the banana and your sweetener of choice, your children will never be able to detect them. And if anything, I think that it gives them such a nice texture. With all of the recipes that I've included today, you can of course adjust the sweetness to your liking. You can give it a taste to make sure that you think it'll be preferable for you and your family. And you could always scale back from there. For the recipe down below, be sure to check it out. I do use maple syrup. It is my preferred sweetener in this recipe. However, date syrup or honey would also taste delicious as well. Now, I'm not sure if this is a mom hack or if this is just me being lazy, but whenever I have leftover batter versus getting out another muffin liner and doing double duty, I'll just pull out the waffle maker and I'll throw the leftover batter in the waffle maker to make a couple quick waffles. The kids love it. They're obsessed with waffles. It's portable, it's easy, and it's on the go. And I think that they like that it's just a different shape and so they think it's a completely different recipe. Now that the muffins are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the turkey bacon and pop that in once those are done and then give my pot roast a quick check. As you can see, it's much later in the day. I'm making myself my favorite traditional medicinals, peppermint tea, and we're gonna be making some lemon poppy seed squares. These are packed with vegetables, you guys, and I swear you could serve this as birthday cake if you put frosting on it. So be sure to check out the recipe in the description box down below. Out of everything we're making today, this is one you guys absolutely have to try. It does take a while to bake, but it's super simple to throw together. You can see I'm using one whole cup of zucchini and one whole cup of squash. In the past, I've increased this to be one and a half of zucchini and squash, and I've previously also included one full cup of spinach just to make sure that the cake was green, and it was equally delicious. But this is the base recipe that I use and I tweak it. You can see I forgot to actually zest my lemons before I cut them, so good thing I caught that before I started to juice them. These organic lemons from Trader Joe's were massive, so I used one and a half. However, the recipe does call for two regular medium-sized lemons. For tonight, I'm using honey as the sweetener of choice, but I've previously made this with maple syrup and date syrup, and I'm pretty sure I've even done this with coconut sugar all of which were delicious, but I decided to go with honey tonight because I wanted to get through the bottle. Because of the lemon juice, this will kind of bubble up a little bit, but as it starts to settle, it will sink down more like a cake. You wanna be sure to grease your pan really well or line it with parchment paper because this cake will stick a little bit to anything that you're cooking it in. So I've just greased it thoroughly with coconut oil, spread everything out, and then I'll pop it in the oven for 45 minutes. While that's baking, I'm going to rinse and drain some chickpeas and toss them in my pan to make some roasted chickpeas. Now, I bake these, I roast these, I just switch it up as I go, but lately I've been really enjoying some roasted chickpeas inside of a collard green wrap. So now I'm gonna rinse and wash some collard green wraps up, dry them off, and put them in a container to have throughout the weekend and through the week for sandwiches. I'll use this and I'll put in that black wild rice, the turkey bacon that we made, some of the roasted chickpeas, and it makes such a delicious and easy lunch with some sliced up avocado and sprouts. So I love to have these on hand. By now, the poppy seed bites are done. I pull them out of the oven, I let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then transfer it to a wire baking sheet. Hi 
guys and welcome back to day two of our epic meal planning as you saw yesterday we got so much done in the kitchen but instead of staying up all night long i figured we could press pause and pick it back up today so i'm really excited because we're going to be starting off with a delicious veggie stuff dip that your kids will absolutely love whether they eat it with carrots apples pretzels graham crackers anything you really want or to be honest with you, I plan on putting this dip on a couple of those muffins that we made yesterday and kind of make them like cupcake-esque. We're gonna start with that. Then we're gonna get simmering some veggie loaded spaghetti and put together a couple more odds and ends for us to have on hand for the weekend ahead. So let's go ahead and jump in to day two. This veggie stuffed yogurt dip is about to be your family's new favorite after school snack. I promise you it's a huge hit so I'm gonna boil some carrots to get it ready for our veggie dip and chop up some veggies for our veggie loaded spaghetti while the carrots lightly boil I love to add extra veggies to all of our recipes and so by simmering and tossing in some extra vegetables and then pureeing it with your veggie sauce is such a wonderful and nourishing way to get these veggies in. I'm also using up the rest of those mushrooms from our pot roast yesterday, then adding in some zucchini, red pepper, and onion. I really like to brown these on the pan with some seasoning to take off the bite and the edge and to brown them up. Then I will add in the sauce and blend it all together. So speaking of sauce, when I'm adding in four to six cups like I did here of extra vegetables, I really like to go big and use the best of the best sauce and Rouse is definitely that. Now I know it's not organic, however, they do boil and then peel the tomato skins. So a lot of the pesticides are removed, but in my opinion, you have to use one of the best tasting sauces if you're gonna be adding this many vegetables to ensure that your kids will eat it. And we absolutely love Rouse, and so it definitely does disguise and mask all of those extra veggies. And you'll see here, I'm just pureeing it a little bit. I'm not getting rid of all of the chunks. I want my children to actually chew and eat the extra vegetables and have the exposure, but I really do like to add rouse just because of the flavor profile. So now that our sauce is done, I'm gonna be packaging up half for the week and freezing the other half. And during that time, our carrots have completely cooled, which is very important before we start to make our yogurt dip. I've added in one full cup of coconut yogurt. You could use Greek yogurt, but it does need to be a thick yogurt. Some maple syrup, some hemp seeds, and some Ceylon cinnamon. I really love to add in Ceylon cinnamon along with hemp seeds. I think that it gives such like a rich nutty taste to the overall dip. And additionally, I like to add in two tablespoons of coconut manna. All of the recipes, please feel free to adjust the sweetness for you and your family. I've previously made this recipe with a sweet potato and a Japanese yam. All are delicious, but it definitely does have a vegetable taste to it. So potentially maybe add a little bit more sweetness when you first give it a try. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. And if you liked this video, you can let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button right over here on the screen. That way you don't miss a single video. And I hope to see you back here next Thursday.